and get started. So, uh, so this is Google Analytics, obviously, uh, for, uh, for our company, Window Treatment Marketing Pros. And this is what we call the, the dashboard. This is the home dashboard that you get uh, when you first log in. One thing you'll notice is that it does tell you uh, if there are people active at this particular moment, which in this case there is. Uh, and then it gives you some quick stats about just, just some overview of what, what's going on. Now, what's interesting is this is only last seven days by default. In this, uh, in this little box here, you can, of course, change this to the last 28, uh, last 90, you know, whatever you want to do there uh, around getting some different data for, for your company or for your business. Uh, and you can see we've had a nice little jump here uh, in, at the end of August uh, of some things that we did that caused a little bit more um, traffic to come our way. Now, another thing that's interesting is in this dotted line, you can see uh, a comparison of, I think this is the previous uh, time frame. So if we're looking at last 90 days, it's also looking at the previous 90 day block as well and giving some information there uh, for that. So uh, some real quick, easy ways to find some different data about your business. Also, you might see some of these spikes. If you ever see a spike, uh, a lot of times those spikes are um, usually showing around, uh, showing up around times when maybe you do a newsletter uh, or if you do a press release, something like that. There's some sort of an event that in a very short amount of time got a bunch of people to click a link to your site, something like that. In this case, for us, this is when I first sent out the notification about this workshop that we're doing. So, of course, a lot of people go check it out, right? But then your traffic kind of uh, goes back to whatever it was doing prior to that. So, uh, by default, like I said, this is seven days and it, you can always change it right here. If we scroll down, uh, we get how do you acquire users? And again, we'll see this big spike on the 11th that is from uh, us sending out the alert or the email about this workshop. Uh, but over time, the other things that you can get here is where those, uh, where those people are coming from. Uh, direct is people typing in, physically typing in your URL. Uh, this could also be people that uh, have bookmarked your website. If, if possible, and they're going to the bookmark and pulling it up basically directly, uh, that would be that traffic. And, and quite honestly, this is a little bit tough to see because the blues are very similar to each other. The second one is organic search. So organic search is somebody went to Google, Yahoo, Bing, ask any of those sites and typed in something related to your uh, business, window treatments, you know, um, outer banks. They typed in something like that, and then they clicked on your result in the organic listings. So the organic listings are the ones below the um, below the paid ads and below the maps, if there is a map section on there. So if I do a search for window treatments, uh, Outer Banks. So we have ads in this case, look how much room the ads take up, nearly, nearly the entire screen. Uh, but then we've got ads, then we've got what we call the three pack, uh, or this is the Google My Business area. And this, by the way, uh, I've got a webinar that is completely on just how to optimize your business for this so that you show up in this three pack listing. And then finally down here, we have what's called the organic listings. And typically you see a couple businesses in here. So we've got full tilt. Um, we've got, I think Jonathan said he was in Outer Banks. Uh, I'd be interested to know if one of these is you. Uh, full Tilt, then we've got Sunny Side. Uh, okay, Jonathan is Full Tilt, so you're in a good spot here. Um, then we also have a mixture of, you know, the big, bigger corporations, right? Budget Blinds are always going to be in the list, but this is a great example of how a smaller business can easily outrank some of these bigger businesses like Budget Blinds. They just don't have the focus to focus in on these small little areas. They're really just kind of uh, using their overall authority to typically be in the list. But this is great, great, great positioning. Uh, and then we've got some of these business directories, right? Like Howes and Yelp. 
They're always going to be in the mix here, but again, not too difficult to push down with some good SEO. A and B Carpet One uh, is in there. Daniel's Home Port, uh, Yellow Pages, Shutterworks and Blinds, and Porch. So we've got uh, we've got about five actual small businesses in the organic rankings, along with a couple other, you know, budget blinds and house and Yelp, some of these other spots. So that is your, uh, that is organic traffic or where that traffic is coming from. Next is social, which is typically always a pretty small amount uh, there. And you can see, you know, how many people are coming from social media, things like that. Uh, referral is uh, traffic from other websites. So let's say that you are uh, advertising on a local uh, business directory, or maybe you are listed on the Chamber of Commerce website and somebody clicks through that link to your site, that would count as a referral uh, to your site. And then there's other, uh, a lot of times the other is they're not sure how in the world people found you. Uh, so it wasn't, there was no uh, data coming to Google Analytics about how they found you. So they just kind of lump that into an other uh, area. Next, how are active users trending over time? So this kind of gives you, you know, how many active users you have, uh, how well do you retain those users? So how often do people come back to your website? Now for window treatment and awning companies, a lot of times you don't really need anything beyond the week two, because really the focus of your website is to generate the lead, right? To get them to fill out a form, pick up the phone, uh, engage with the chat widget, something like that. And typically at that point, you're going to get them into your sales funnel. They're not going to keep going back to your website. Um, I'm looking at, you know, our window treatment marketing pros, which is a little different, right? We're trying to get people back to the site all the time to putting up new blogs, things like that. And it could be a situation where you're doing that as well. But typically what you want is somebody to engage uh, the first or the second time that they come to your site. Uh, also some information about when, what time of day people come to your site. For some reason, looks like most people come Monday at two o'clock. You know why? Because that is when we sent out the email. Uh, so we're only looking at, you know, a short amount of time here. So we've kind of skewed the system because of that, uh, that email blast that we did. Uh, it also gives you sessions by country. For most of you, this is not going to be important because we really only want United States traffic. And quite honestly, we only want traffic within, you know, whatever that is, 50 or 100 mile radius of your location. Uh, Eric might have a different... Um, different focus for that with retractableawnings.com because I think you ship them all across the country. Uh, so you might be wanting more the, the entire United States. Um, there are some really cool things you can do with this, by the way, and, and we'll get into that, but you can, you can drill down into the location overview and see where in the US people are coming from, what section, what city, all that kind of stuff. Uh, very important one here is sessions by device. So this is what device are people using to see your business? Now for us, a huge portion of our people are desktop. For most window treatment and awning companies, these numbers are quite different. Uh, mobile is probably closer to 60%. Desktop is probably closer to 35 and tablet being somewhere a very slight runner up at, at three, 5%, something like that. Mobile is typically the one that uh, most uh, small business owners focus on or should focus on. And that's why the importance of having a mobile friendly site uh, needs to be at the top of your list. Make sure that it is um, that it changes as somebody changes their screen, you know, from from side to side. Make sure that that uh, changes as well. Uh, and that's called responsive websites. Everybody pretty much has responsive websites nowadays, uh, but every once in a while, I still see one uh, that is not, that was built quite a while ago. So very important to know this. Now, the other reason that it's important to know about these sessions by device is if I go back over here to this search, window treatments, Outer Banks, North Carolina, a lot of mobile users make their decision from this three pack. 
mobile users do not always go down to the organic results. So if your business is not listed locally in this three pack of results, uh, you're likely going to not get a ton of traffic. It's amazing how many people will, will engage with a business right from this. And on mobile devices, it may be even that they'll, they'll click. Uh, so they'll have a couple extra things here uh, where they can actually just click to call you straight from this listing. Mobile users may never even visit your website, right? Uh, so that's why that is very important. And this gets into making sure that your Google My Business listing is claimed, uh, that you have some, re, uh, some reviews here. In this case, uh, Jonathan's got six five-star reviews, which is awesome. Sunny Slide, Sunny Side has no reviews. And Budget Blinds, uh, one review. So great job being in here. Uh, I, would, I would definitely work on getting more reviews and just keep building that number bigger and bigger so that uh, as if one of these guys starts some sort of review campaign that they don't overtake you there. So, uh, all right. So that is, uh, that is mobile. The other thing I should say about mobile is I'm on a desktop computer right now looking at these results. Uh, Google has actually separated into basically two Googles, if you want to call it that. Uh, there is a different... Uh, set of results for mobile searches for mobile devices. So if I do the same search window treatment, Outer Banks NC on my mobile device, it's likely I will see different results. Hopefully I'll still see these, you know, full tilt in the, in the three pack there. Uh, but uh, if Sunnyside, for instance, doesn't have a mobile friendly website, it's very likely that they won't even show up here in the number two spot. They might not show up at all because they're not in the mobile index for Google. Uh, so it's very important, again, to have that responsive uh, theme and make sure that that is working correctly. Now, next is what pages do your users visit? We're gonna dig a little bit more into this because this can be pretty interesting too. Uh, but for us, the slash just means homepage. And that makes sense because that's where we're driving a lot of our traffic. That is what we have SEO'd our site for, right? A lot of people just come to the homepage. The second page is setting up a strategy session with us, uh, contacting us. And then we start to get down into some of the, uh, the nitty gritty pages. Uh, here's a, here's a, uh, a blog post. Here's our services page. Here's our podcast page, things like that. Uh, but you can see how the numbers start to dwindle off. Uh, as far as how many visits in this particular time frame, this is the last seven days. Lastly, how are you performing against your goals? We'll go into goals uh, a little bit here. And as you can see, ours are not uh, completing out correctly, but we'll talk a little bit more about that. 